Come one, come all to the greatest show on earth with three of the world wonders, The Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. News, politics, escándalo, sports, current events, all things worth writing about, and much more. These tres gorditos will blow your mind. All right, welcome back to another episode of the Three Guys Rant here from the beautiful Mucho Macho Studios in Southern, in sunny Southern California. And I got to say, the rest of the U.S. might be going to uh, beep because of the weather, but the temperature here is absolutely fantastic well, in Los Angeles. You hell in a handbasket. You have to do the lame beep. Well, you know, we get calls on a regular basis here because of the show from the FCC. But, but really, a beep? What do you want me to say? Uh, all right, can we start with something much more important? I don't care that two-thirds of the country is freezing. And Baseball's country. coming back. How I about don't that? Care. Our, Alan, can you please do the honors? Okay, I'm already bored. What are we listening to? That's because you're an idiot. The final front oh, wow. Is this like the pilot Star Trek theme song? That's mine. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's okay, so it no sounded. Streaming. I, I think our show is bad enough, but that literally sounds like it was recorded in somebody's bathtub. Probably was during bath time. You know what's funny is recently we lost Leonard Nimoy. What's funny is I don't know how many young people today who know him, by the way, because I know my my ten year old nephew loves him, loves the comments, the big bank theories brought him back. But you know, we we, we lost him a few days ago. Leonard Nimoy, the 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 guy who. Who played Spock? And Mike for years has said, "Leonard, is he the guy from Reading Rainbow?" Who? Reading Rainbow? No. Leonard Nimoy is okay. Spock. You're thinking of Levar Burton. By the way, one is Asian, one is black. Look, in my world, I don't see colors. Okay. <laughs> one played Jody LaForge. He's Asian. Yeah. I uh, would have never guessed it. Yeah, uh, Jody Jody LaForge, who's Levar Burton. Was on Star Trek: The Next Generation. He wore the uh, visor. Uh, you say pickle, I say tomato. <laughs> They're both Star anyway, Trek. What's your point? What's so funny? <clears throat> Leonard Nimoy, in the beginning, he wasn't unthrilled, but he actually wrote a, an autobiography that says, "I am not Spock." He was unthrilled. Well, because you know that's all he was recognized for was Spock. Right. His <clears throat> fans were so lit up. And so adamant that he changed it, he went back and wrote another biography. I am Spock. And well, he that, finally, that, that's just smart marketing there. But he finally embraced it. And what's funny is they say that few people in the world right. have ever identified with a persona and a character in such a manner that hasn't gone away as Spock did. I can think of another one. Who? The guy from the Big Bang Theory, Sheldon. Okay. Once again... Up until this point, are we talking about the nerd? Uh, no, they're culture? saying that the Big Bang Theory, Sheldon, and so on, wasn't around in the '60s. These kids weren't even born. I see Sylvester Stallone. I think a Rambo or Rocky. Yeah, but he's but he's not. You know, there's not Comic Con for Rambo. There's not Rambo's not mentioned literally every week on some kind of show. People don't say. Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman. How about Pee? You know what? Coming back with with he's going to do another. Does Pee-wee it Herman matter? Movie. How many times a week? In a week, an average week, do you hear a, a, a stupid Pee Wee Herman saying? All the time. It's political season. He's running for office. None. You hear "Live Long and Prosper." Yeah. You see the Vulcan handshake. You see Spock. There's a Star Trek. So it, it, it's different. None of those people you mentioned are even in the same category. Well, I think of Pee Wee Herman. I think of the movie theaters. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a different story altogether. Because you like the people. Anyway, Mike's always saying in the past that not everything's a tragic loss. I think this one was. It was sad. He was 83. Natural causes? Heart, um, yeah. yeah. Wow, he was 83? 83. I had no idea he was that old. 83, and um, it was funny. They, uh, over the weekend, or one of the weekends recently, uh, there's a station here locally that's called METV, METV, and uh, oh, O'Hara, the oh. black girl on the show, I do know. I do see that one. She was, was saying... Was it Uhura? Uhura. Forgive me. Uhura. <laughs> why why do they got to call her that? Was saying that she wanted to get whoa, off whoa, the whoa, show. Whoa, 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 Why are they calling her that? Hey, man. This is a serious moment. This is Leonard Nimoy. 
Okay, but I, I we'll come back to her name. I, I want to know why the, the word whore is in her name. It's not. It's Ohura. Please continue. Only you. You know what? For everybody out there, if you'd like, I'll give you his home address. So you can shoot him. Loser. Well, it's not hard when you live on the corner of Hollywood so, and uh, Ohura. The woman who played Ohura was saying how she wanted off the show. To your girlfriend is never hard, but, <clears throat> but Martin story. Luther King <laughs> asked, told her, "You can't leave the show because Why? you are." Um, a role model to a lot of young girls and black girls at that time. And she said that stuck with her. So many things about that show, for a, for a series that only lasted three seasons, by the way. Really? It only lasted three seasons. And the ratings, all three seasons, were horrible. Until 20 years later. No. Shortly thereafter, mm-hmm. it got picked up, and the people who became the Trekkies and the conventions, and they started getting invited to shows, it was one of those cult followers. It just took a little longer to pick up steam. So why don't they ever go back and... Do more with the original cast. I'm sorry. Um, in 1980, I know that they've made movies. So I said TV shows. If they only did three seasons, why didn't they go back and knock out another 12 seasons? Because they could make a gazillion dollars at the movie theater with Star Trek One, Star Trek Two, okay. Wrath of Khan, I'm assuming A New World. The, the people behind the camera. What about the actors? Wouldn't they have made more money in front of the camera on the TV show? You, you do understand that they were all on the six movies, all of them. Scotty, beat me up, Scotty. Remember what, him? What, what's your point? Though? Okay, McCoy. What's your point? Ohura. I mean, I, I'm just saying. What's your do, point? Do, do, do you have zero clue about anything? So, prior? if I'm not mistaken, then so <laughs> so then the Ohura was a uh, um, a beacon of hope for her culture. Yeah, for and, and culture. And then so was um, the Asian gentleman. I can't think of his name. George Takei. Takei. He was the same well, thing for the well, Japanese, Takei, wasn't that? Takei actually took it one step further when he revealed that he was homosexual. Yeah, but that wasn't until way later. I understand. But what I'm saying is I think his following grew even more then because it just one of those things that, you know, he survived at a time when it was still, you know, most of Hollywood was so homophobic. So it was like, Takei can uh, take it. All of this and and Captain Kirk didn't even go to the funeral. I know. Okay, but, but he was wasn't he on on a film set somewhere like in Australia or Europe or something like no, that? No, he went to really a, don't follow anything at I all. Saw, I, saw I saw the headline. I saw the headline. He was at a fundraiser <laughs> for the American Red Cross. Okay, <laughs> how was that a film set in Australia? Hey, who hurt you, me? What 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 is wrong with you? Okay, I'm so focused on a horror. Uh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, so I'm sorry. So he should have left right. the Red Cross to go to the funeral. I think so. I mean, they, they were. I mean, they were friends and everything. But yeah, I mean, I well, should have went. Didn't they stop talking for a few years for whatever reason? Who knows? But what's what's ironic, uh, and not the Alanis Morissette version, in Star Trek Three, crickets, crickets. Spock died. Right. Okay. It's so they had a few Trek. funeral for him. You know, everybody was there. It was filmed. They sent his coffin out into space. So that got played quite a bit during that time, also. So it was kind of it was kind of cool. Got played where? During the funeral. Uh, uh, there's a thing called news, you moron. When you, okay, when you leave your mother's basement and stop looking at porn, okay, there's a thing that's called news. There's even a channel dedicated to it called CNN. I thought you were going to say there's a, there's a channel for porn. There's CNBC, well, listen, MSNBC, and then there's one for the lunatics called Fox News. And well, if you don't watch crazy, any of that... That's for crazy white people. Though. <laughs> and if you don't watch any of that, you can at least watch The Daily Show. Hey, I get my news from a reputable source. It's called Bill Maher. That's where my news comes from. I don't even believe you. Okay? Because you can't quote any of it. You can never have a discussion about it. <sighs> that's usually because I'm doing something else on a different TV uh, on the other side of the room. Why? Why? All right. They're marking the first break. When we come back, the two things I wanted to talk about were bullying... And Kurt Schilling, the uh, foreman Diamondback. Have you at least followed that one, Arvin? Do you know what's going on with Kurt Schilling? Is that where the saying says, I give you a shilling? <laughs> Is that not it? <laughs> Mikey, just... take us to break. Yeah, okay, let's go. Where do you guys want to go? This is the Three Guys Rent. We'll be back right after this commercial break.
Real Estate Rant and AGR Realtors are proud supporters of Michael Aguilar and Associates, advocates for stroke awareness and integrative health care. In February 2012, I suffered a stroke due to high blood pressure. I was rushed to the hospital where I was admitted for the next 30 days. I was initially told I may have to stay in the hospital for about three months, but I made rapid improvements in my recuperation and continued to improve to this day. When Michael left the hospital, he did not have insurance to cover his rehabilitation, so he focused on integrative health care to get better. At the end of 2013, seeing a need for stroke awareness, Michael started his own company, Michael Aguilar and Associates, to focus on creating awareness about the dangers of high blood pressure and stroke. If you would like more information, please call me at 562-464-7297 or you can visit my website at www.strokeawareness101.com. Michael Aguilar and Associates, creating awareness and saving lives one person at a time. Looking for some swag? Make sure to check out monsterclothing.com. They got everything from v-necks, t-shirts, hoodies, baby dolls. And remember, custom orders are always welcome. And much more. They're just not on the site. www.monsterclothingco.com. Or call them at 888-49-MONSTER. 888-49-MONSTER. Hablamos Espanol. do 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 Hey, what's up, homie? What's happening? What's up, bro? Hey, man, are you into sports? Oh, yeah, bro. Angels, Dodgers, Ducks, all day. Oh, yeah, you got to listen to the most Bro Sports, man. They cover L.A. sports. Where can I listen, bro? Oh, you got to check them out on Iran Radio. That's IranRadio.com or a Mose Bro Sports on Facebook. You got to check them out, homes. Okay, bro, I'll check them out. All right, I'll check you later, homie. All right, man. See you later, bro. KCAA Radio, Loma Linda, where no listener is ever left behind. This is Becca Bateau. When I'm not reading Fifty Shades of Grey and driving men crazy, I spend my time dreaming about the three guys rant, Arvin, Mike, and Phil. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, welcome back to another episode of the Three Guys Rent. I got to say thank you again to our sponsor, Mucho Macho Michelada. Anybody that calls in and lets us know just how much you are, we're going to go ahead and send you out a free six pack, and we'll try to make it not an expired one. How about that? So again, you don't even have to get on the phone with us. Just call in, talk to uh, the man behind the board, eight five five sixty nine. Three guys again, eight five five sixty nine. Three guys, and all you got to do is give us a little mucho. Every week we talk about stupid, ridiculous topics, and I always say we are the last people in the world you should get your news from, especially if we ever try to do a PSA. You know what the funny thing is? I always go back and listen to past shows to get my news. Yeah, I know you do. What's funny is, Alan, you got that picture up? Um, guys, during the Olympics, okay, <laughs> women's oh. volleyball. Oh, oh, oh. Women's volleyball. Right. Did you enjoy it? And Mikey, your two favorites yeah. are? Kerry Walsh and Misty Misty May. Misty May trainer, okay? I'm enjoying it right now, and they're not even I, playing. I, well, okay. Where I'm going with this is a, a young girl, 15 years old. Her name is Lacey Smar of Longview, Texas. We're not going to put up her picture, you know, because she's a, a minor. The poor thing died about a week ago of a heart attack due to malnutrition. Okay. okay. She weighed 126 pounds, was a volleyball player. One of her friends or teammates said, your butt looks big in those shorts. That so messed her up, it turned into an eating disorder. She dropped from 126 to 88 pounds. She died of a heart attack due to malnutrition because her body didn't have enough nutrients to keep her going. So At she, 15. She stopped eating. She stopped eating. All I'm trying to say is, to anybody who's listening to us, really? This is 2015. The big butt is what it's all about, number one. Right. Number two, if you have a big butt, be proud of it. And all these young girls, stop starving yourselves. It's not worth it. I guarantee you there are more guys out there who would like you with your big butt. I got to tell you. Than emaciated and dead. It's not worth it. I agree 100%. And, and I feel so, and I, I read this when it broke my heart. I felt so because, you know, Mikey raised two girls. Okay. You know, and, and one is a little fuller than the other. 
And he, Mike used to joke. And because, the other one's the next game's performer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different story altogether. But what was funny is I remember years ago when she was in high school and she was, she was a little more full figured like her mom. And Mike's like, oh, thank God she's a little more full because it's going to take a special boy to, to want to chase that. <laughs> well, it didn't take long. All I'm saying is any young lady listening, if you have a big butt, be proud of it. Don't go on an eating disorder. It's not worth it. Ladies, if you have a big butt, send me a picture. <laughs> ladies, I'll be proud of ladies, it. Ladies, I'm talking to these young girls, though, who are still facing these body issues. And I just, you know, I felt horrible reading. And then when I read that she was a volleyball player, I'm like, that's the reason most people watched volleyball. That's the only the reason. It's the only reason I watch it. So I'm just saying that, you know. Well, so the only thing I would add to that is uh, ladies, not, not young girls, but <clears throat> always trust a man who likes big butts. Because <laughs> he cannot lie. Who understands those crap guys. That's right. Well, uh, you know, it's, it, I don't know how specific we can get into it, but there was, there was a term that you said that I guess is getting popular here in 2015. And I've actually seen it among young adolescents. I, I'm assuming most oh, of you Oh, slut shaming. Slut shaming. Right. And I've seen it, and some of these girls are just completely brutal. Okay. And, and that's a whole different animal. I agree with you there. I mean, we talked about that. That's where these girls get. But I mean, what was even sadder, though, this wasn't even meant to be shameful. It was just, hey, girl, you got a big butt. Your butt looks big in those shorts. Right. Turned into an eating disorder. And then, any, any idea how long the whole thing? Yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't uh, look like it was... Uh, she was being bullied, but no. she just took it the wrong but, way. But that's what I'm saying, yeah. though, that I, I just wanted to throw it out there that, trust me, somebody will like that big butt, even if you are in Texas. Kids are freaking crazy today, man. Look at that girl that committed suicide because she was being bullied, and a friend encouraged her to, to commit suicide online. You know, Luckily, they arrested really? her friend, yeah, and they charged her with manslaughter. All right, But she was encouraging her to just off herself, and the girl did it. You so know. I'm just saying it to parents also to tell them. I mean, I'm not saying she's a role model because she's not. So don't use Kim Kardashian, but maybe J-Lo. J-Lo's got a big booty and she's proud. Hold on. Need Mental a private picture. moment to visualize that? I'm visualizing. So, now let's talk about bullying. For those of sandwiches. you that have been following the news recently, not too long ago, Kurt Schilling, former pitcher for the Arizona Diamondbacks, posted on his Twitter account that he was proud of his daughter who had gotten into college. Right. She's a very, very attractive young lady. She's 17. She's not bad looking. Okay. Easy. She's 17. I don't know what possessed some of these people. They went on this tirade. Sexually explicit, mean, rude, hurtful, nasty comments, which really had no bearing on. Right. You're like, you freaking moron. What does that have to do with her being smart? Okay. Kurt Schilling decided enough was enough. So he tracked him down. Whatever he did and whatever influence he had, whatever he was... He tracked down who those posters were. And two of them, one worked for the Yankees right. as a part-time ticket salesperson, was fired. What? Yep. Okay. And then the other one, um, I think it was at a school of some sort, and he's been let go. Good. Okay. Now, well, so I, I got a question because Mike has two daughters and you're a pig. So it's a good balance in the room right now. What I wanted to ask is, so a lot of people have come out on both sides. A lot of people are saying that that's awesome for him as a father. You know, he went after these internet trolls. He defended his daughter. They've interviewed him. But other people are saying that on his blog, that sometimes he can be a little harsh, that he's made some comments. There were a lot of references to what happened with the shooting in, um, help me. The, Jeez, you can oh, just pay no, 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 no. Mike does what I'm talking about. The uh, the white cop who shot the young black kid, Ferguson. Ferguson, thank you. That there were some comments on there. So people are saying that he's only vigilant when it suits him. Okay, that's most people. No, hold on. So I'm just asking though, because again, the, the two different sides. I mean, you know, because Mikey posted. No, I mean, he, he got he got involved, and that's good. Good for him. I mean, the daughter was a minor. He's defending her. Wow, I can't even read that one. I almost That's what read I'm it saying. out loud. So this is how bad out. it was, and it, it was it was ridiculous. So he went after them. His daughter's a minor. So so that was my question, though. I mean, again, I don't know where you guys land on it. Should he have left it alone, or should he have gone after him? No, I think he did the right thing. Just going. The going man's after retired. Him. He's got money. He's got access to obviously certain uh, expert individuals, if you will. I'm all for it. I think you should have. And I've been saying this for years now that the one thing. You know, I, I saw. Wait, before you get into that, 
again, the, the school teacher, whatever, I won't even put into my whole little rant. But the other freaking moron that worked for the Yankees that was part of the baseball organization should have known better. He should have kept his mouth shut and not said well, anything. Maybe that's why he did it. I mean, because uh, he also played for the for the Red Sox, and it's like Yankee Red Sox. Um, it doesn't matter that that well, moron, that it, moron saying, should have known better. Yeah. But that's where I think you know. I heard a comment from a newscaster not a few weeks ago who said that what drives him crazy about the internet, it's given a voice to those who shouldn't have one. Given to the voice to the bunch of. Well, because they hide behind everything. Right. Right. You know, they're like, no, they nothing's going to happen. He's three thousand miles away. Right. I'm safe. So, yeah. Okay. I'm uh, just curious. So, you know, you guys are on yeah, his sure. side. I mean, I think it's one of those things. You know, I mean, it's your daughter. It's your little girl. You're proud of her. Yeah, she's a pretty girl. And... There, there's free speech in America, but at some point, you know, you're going to cross the line. Somebody's knees, kneecaps need to be broken. <laughs> <laughs> this is a three guys friend. We'll be back right after this commercial break. What's up, bro? Hey, man, are you into sports? Oh, yeah, bro. Angels, Dodgers, Ducks, all day. Oh, yeah, you got to listen to the most Bro Sports, man. They cover L.A. sports. Where can I listen, bro? Oh, you got to check them out on Iran Radio. That's IranRadio.com or a Moe's Bro Sports on Facebook. You got to check them out, Holmes. Okay, bro, I'll check them out. All right, I'll check you later, homie. All right, man. See you later, bro. Protec Carpet and Tile Care provides professional cleaning services for carpet, tile, and grout, upholstery, and fine area rugs. We aren't just clean experts, we are restoration experts. We have saved our customers hundreds or even thousands of dollars on new flooring and upholstery expenses after we restored what they thought was permanent soil and damage. We are professionally trained and certified technicians. We specialize in damage restoration caused by heavy soil, odor, spot removal such as coffee, tea, ink, gum, wine, oil, paint, nail polish, and many more. If you want the best in home cleaning and professional services, call us today at 562-447-4300. We are ProTech. Real Estate Rant and AGR Realtors are proud supporters of Michael Aguilar and Associates, advocates for stroke awareness and integrative health care. In February 2012, I suffered a stroke due to high blood pressure. I was rushed to the hospital where I was admitted for the next 30 days. I was initially told I may have to stay in the hospital for about three months, but I made rapid improvements in my recuperation and continued to improve to this day. When Michael left the hospital, he did not have insurance to cover his rehabilitation. So he focused on integrative health care to get better. At the end of 2013, seeing a need for stroke awareness, Michael started his own company, Michael Aguilar & Associates, to focus on creating awareness about the dangers of high blood pressure and stroke. If you would like more information, please call me at 562-464-7297 or you can visit my website at www.strokeawareness101.com. Michael Aguilar & Associates, creating awareness and saving lives one person at a time. Hey everybody, it's Kiara Lynn Ford and I'm listening to Rant Radio Network. All right, and we're back. You listen to the three guys rant, Arvin, Mike, and Phil. And what are we giving away today and how can they call us? <laughs> We're going to give away a six-pack of Mucho Macho Michelada if you call our, our hotline, which is uh, 1-869-6742. Arvin. Dash K. All right. How about 855-693, guys? You're going to get there them to go. call North Korea somewhere with that number. 855-693, guys. I will send you a six-pack of Mucho Macho Michelada, the official sponsor. Oh, of, I see the phone ringing. The three guys around. Hey, real quick, man. I, I know I knew there was something out there that created you to have such a pep in your step today. It's because you know what? And, I, and I, you, I used to have low T. Oh, you used to have low T? But no, now I know what now it is. Now I like high TTs. Uh, I now I know what it is. There, there was a report put out today, which actually the it was put together by scientists, and now we have the official 
uh, answer for the question, what is an average size for a penis? You know what the average size is? Two inches smaller than mine. That's the average size. Yeah, and it turns out that, no wonder you're so happy. It turns out that, anybody wants to guess? I'm going to say four average. and a quarter. Four and a quarter. No. Phil? Five Six. and a quarter. Five huh? and a quarter. Six. Six. I'm going to say five and a quarter. Oh, te gustan grande, cabrón. <laughs> um, <laughs> 5.16 six five inches is the average around the world they uh they did the study and they measured <laughs> there's so many directions this could go we can get banned on every one trying, of them I'm trying to, really you know i'm trying to be uh you know they measured a man from 17 to 91 years old i thought it was gonna say 17 and, to 91 inches and they've been doing it for uh for quite a while man so, okay who 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 the hell did they ask? Because I don't know anybody that got measured. No, they actually measured them. They weren't asked. And oh. this was thousands of men. Please explain right? this process. Now, I know you'd like it. to have that job, but it's done. The study's done. All right? So, no, you can't apply. <laughs> so, so how does then they say that there's no correlation between a man's foot size and the length of his manhood. And they acknowledge that uh, race has nothing to do with it either. Race? Race. The race. Oh, the race. Race. What, race. I, I heard R A Z E too, but I knew where he was going with this. So, I, I let it go. So you're telling me there's a a, a lodong chung in China somewhere? So what I'm saying is that you no longer need counseling for your uh, small penis anxiety. <laughs> wait, wait. Can you go back to that picture? You're, you're good to go, man. So, so I, I gotta assume that yeah, there, there can't be any relate. Wow, America's not at the top of that list. Who is? Does that Con say Congo? Congo. Congo's at the top of that list. Yep. For the largest. And let me see. South Korea and North Korea are at the lowest. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that leaves. That's absolutely uh, no stereotypical uh, research there. We've never known this Anyways, before. Anyways, so, you know, now you know, bro. You're okay, man. Right? Yeah, I, I would assume that there that there is no correlation to a man's shoe size because Shaquille O'Neal would never have a girlfriend. That could be... No, you got. You may have a valid, <laughs> somewhat valid point there. All right, can we move yeah. off the topic and onto something else, Mr. Ochoa? Go ahead. Uh, we are pen fifteen. That's all I'm saying. Hey, so um, one other thing, man, which I thought was was genius, and I think we should start. We, we should go in this business and expand it even more. You know how there's the uh, women always get into these little clubs, the little these little parties. You know, like whether it's gonna be a Tupperware party or a Mary Kay party. Do they still have parties like that? Yeah, Avon. You know, all these different products. Does your wife do that? No. Does your wife do that? Goes to them. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, now there's a company in New York that is doing the same thing, the same thing, same thing. However, it's about moms to be getting together. And they have these parties where they have a sneak peek at their child. They're ultrasound parties. So you invite, you know, grandpa, grandma, and uncle, and they can all come and see your baby in the womb. So how exactly does that work? Do you call in a doctor? No, they, they bring the ultrasound equipment to you, or you can rent a room at their facility. And so, you have okay. a party where everybody can get Okay, so, so you rent the equipment, so, so, so the they, they bring it that to people you. have gotten for years and years isn't enough now? No. Now, you know, you, you have a party. Okay, so you do bring in a physician then, or, or a, technician, a, technician. a technician. Yeah. What the hell does that cost? How many thousands of dollars you know does what? it cost to get them in the, the There's no there? mention of cost, but you don't, then they, they uh, a new life. They're, they're, you can't put a, you can't put a price. Oh, there, there's a you certain, you can't put a oh, price yes, you on can. a young life. Oh, sir. yes, you can. <laughs> there's certain lives that aren't worth two shillings. And, and then you can get CDs or DVDs or printed or pictures. STDs you know. or. Yeah, so I think it's a good idea, but we expand it. We do, we do, you know, we do the ultrasound, we do mammograms. I don't know. We to do me, that's pap just... smears, pap smears, we do everything. <laughs> what is a pap smear? Okay, moving on. El Papa Nicolau. <laughs> hey, does she bring her datascope? Anyways, so <laughs> what do you think? Is it a good idea I, I, or a bad idea? I just look at that. It looks like they're at a conference, at a convention center. That's how many people are there. There you go. I, I don't think it's a good idea. Isn't that something that's supposed to be intimate between the man and the woman? That's what Not I would think. Not the local village? That's, that's what I would think. But apparently, it's starting to be the crazy New York. Okay, I see like 100 white people you know and one funny, black though? man in the corner. Well, no, you know what's picture. funny? Okay, so I made it to New York. You know what's in New York? These parties. Way too many Puerto Ricans. And what do they do in Puerto Rico? 
Oh, we wouldn't be doing that, man. They're not posing their 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 deceased in costumes <laughs> and positions. So this you doesn't mean, surprise me. Oh, but you know what? That now another insanity craze has moved to where there's more Puerto and you know Ricans. that they've been doing that for years. It's not new. Really? Yeah. How how is the Green Lantern doing nowadays, man? I have no clue, man. But yeah, Alan, seen, can you find a picture? How of the, Green the hell Lantern? did that start? Do you have any idea? No, man. But I've seen people, you know, in a funeral in their motorcycle. <laughs> okay, and they're, they're sitting on a motorcycle with a helmet on. All right, in a car, <laughs> on their favorite chair at the house. Wait, 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 wait. In wait. la maca, <laughs> swinging on the hammock. I mean, dude, I'm telling you, bro. Let me ask you a question. Then Puerto Ricans be crazy. Let me ask you a question. Now, can you find the the Puerto Rican dead Green Lantern? See if you can find that one. Let me ask you a question. Is that where the movie Weekend at Bernie's originated from? From no the Puerto clue, Ricans? Bro. And just for the so the audience audience knows what we're talking about is in Puerto Rico they have this thing now where you can go to a wake and the deceased is in a pose. Uh it could be he could be dressed as a superhero, sitting on his own motorcycle, on his favorite chair. You know so what? he's not gonna be in a coffin. I look at that. There's the Green Lantern. <laughs> and people <laughs> go and pay their respects, man. Now I would be all for putting grandpa up in the seat next to me in the carpool lane on the freeway. But okay. how long how long does it take before a a, a, a dead body starts to harden? Okay. What part of the body? Well, again, he's standing up and it looks like he's standing up on his own. Why 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 do you toy with him? Why why do you toy would you explain to him that rigor mortis sets in in about six hours, man? I mean Yeah. Uh, I'm did, did you not go to Health 101? Did I, you not take biology in school? I, I just what the hell is wrong with you? How about CSI? Do you at least watch an episode of CSI? No. Once I, in a while? I went to health class for different reasons. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm sure they've been embalmed already. And they're, they're prepped. So they put little palitos in the piernas to, <laughs> to, that, to hold them I, up? I have no clue, bro. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but that's just retarded to me, man. Now I'm intrigued. So I, 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 it was a simple slam. I wanted to make fun of Mikey about Puerto Ricans, and we go back to the deceased being posed. All, right. All I know is when I go, I want to be buried on my stomach. Oh, you will be. Don't you worry about that. And that's so when the everybody carrot... else can kick my ass. You know what? I'll, they're going to make you a bring... bike rack is what they're going to do to you. I'm going to bring carrots and bananas to your funeral, man, if you're going to be on your stomach. That's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Since um, we're talking about crazy Puerto Ricans, uh, did you know that Hispanic population is set to double by 2060? I don't, well, be- I don't, do I don't believe knock it. boots. I don't believe I know. it. I don't believe it. So we're going to be... I think we've already done that like five years ago. I think we might triple by 2060. Yeah, I think that you know they how many doors, it, everybody. You know how many doors they knock on and people hide in the closet? They don't have an yeah. accurate so, count. So I'm sorry, did, did you say you know? 2060? Yeah, 2060. Oh, they're FOS. That's not going to take that long. I know. I'm thinking by Christmas we're going to be at least you know, the way I, there. I, I found a solution for the Census Bureau to be able to count all Hispanics. Instead of knocking on the door, honky horn. <laughs> Get off of my running. <laughs> This is the Three Guys Drive. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Real Estate Rant and AGR Realtors are proud supporters of Michael Aguilar and Associates, advocates for stroke awareness and integrative health care. In February 2012, I suffered a stroke due to high blood pressure. I was rushed to the hospital where I was admitted for the next 30 days. I was initially told I may have to stay in the hospital for about three months, but I made rapid improvements in my recuperation and continued to improve to this day. When Michael left the hospital, he did not have insurance to cover his rehabilitation. So he focused on integrative health care to get better. At the end of 2013, seeing a need for stroke awareness, Michael started his own company, Michael Aguilar and Associates, to focus on creating awareness about the dangers of high blood pressure and stroke. If you would like more information, please call me at 562-464-7297 or you can visit my website at www.strokeawareness101.com. Michael Aguilar and Associates, creating awareness and saving lives one person at a time. The 
experts know that for pastry, Baker's Bodega has it all. Exclusive brands like West Co. Bank Mart, Satin Ice, and Pastry Pride. One on one day seminars for cake decorating and gelatin art. So, for our service, wide range of ingredients and supplies, and for the low prices, Baker's Bodega has it all. But you don't need to be an expert. Baker's Bodega, 7869 Paramount Boulevard in Pico Rivera. Come, we're waiting for you. Hey, what's up, homie? What's happening? What's up, bro? Hey, man, are you into sports? Oh, yeah, bro. Angels, Dodgers, Ducks, all day. Oh, yeah, you got to listen to the most Bro Sports, man. They cover L.A. sports. Where can I listen, bro? Oh, you got to check them out on Iran Radio. That's IranRadio.com or a Moe's Bro Sports on Facebook. You got to check them out, homes. Okay, bro, I'll check them out. All right, I'll check you later, homie. All right, man. See you later, bro. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, and a big old howdy, y'all. This is the Red Mexican Alex Raimundo with my amigos, the three guys ranting, not to be confused with three guys panting. That was uh, me outside your window the other night, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back. This is the Three Guys Rent. Make sure to call us at 855-693-GUYS. Again, 855-693-GUYS. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at The Three Guys Rent. And we're down to our last three six-packs of Mucho Macho Michelada. So the next three people to call in, and then we we'll get a free Mucho Macho six-pack for a spicy. What is it going, Phil? <laughs> you want to, thank you, Alan. You want to do your segments before you go crazy? No, no, no. I'm good. I want to talk. I, I've brought this up over the years, and it drives me crazy. And I always defer to Mike because Mike's one of those that doesn't do this. Why do hey, I started shaving? Hey, hold on. You started Why do people feel the need to bring their demonic, satanic spawn of a progeny out to dinner? If you can't look. I'm gonna preface. Please I'm on the board of nonprofits. I, the three of us, raised lots of money for children and children's causes. And what do I always say? Uh, Arvin always says, "Screw the children." Okay, not literally, folks. But yeah, not literally. We, you know, it drives me crazy. You go to a, a nice dinner, at two tables over, somebody thinks that the two-year-old who's throwing the silverware, having a tantrum, is cute. Well, Phil, maybe. Your high-end restaurant is just like a sizzler to them, Phil. You're right. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> you're right. I, I, you're absolutely right. You know what? I'm glad you brought this up. Oh, now you're glad I brought it up? I'm glad you brought it up because it was on my list. I know, Boom. I know some people with money. I know some people that have nice chunks of change. It would be in the millionaire vicinity. Actually, not in it, but actually, vicinity? In, it, actually in it. And they, and they agreed with what I said after I rented off air and on air. They say that they're sick and tired of going to nice restaurants with morons that can't get off their phone, that don't leave their children at home, and do all this other stupid crap that you would normally do at a McDonald's and not at a high-end restaurant, and they agreed. They don't do it anymore. They'd rather have – they'd actually rather get somebody to come in and cook for them at home. And that's fine. But I go back to Mike because there was a period there where I would tell Mike, let's go to dinner. Hell no. I ain't taking my kid. Mike, I got to – God bless Mike. Mike never – one time. One time he did because his wife made him, and I swear to God, he was the most miserable I've ever seen him at dinner. <laughs> but other than that, Mike never wanted to take. Can we get an alleluia for Mike? <laughs> because, Lord. no, because it's not, I wasn't thinking about everybody else. I was thinking about me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to be dealing with him. Whatever <laughs> so, the reason was, you know, thank you for doing something like this. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I, I was at a dinner not too long, about a week ago. You know what, real quick, because I know I'm going to forget, you, you won't. The other part I hate, is when a parent takes their kids to restaurants, the kids make a damn mess all over the floor and all over the table, and they get up and leave it like that. Well, That's something me and my wife know. We would never do that. If the boy made a mess... One of us would be on our hands and knees cleaning it from the floor because oh, that's you guys. Yeah, we would clean it. What about the kid? No, but what, they were, ba you know, okay, one to your that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? But I, I can't stand I, I, that. I don't know if I technically see him doing this. How as a parent? But you do realize you, you would think that. Okay, I, I, oh, I'm know. kind of have mixed feelings because I agree with what you're saying. You should, you shouldn't be a slob because I think whatever you practice is what they're gonna pick up. But at the same time, don't a lot of people go to restaurants so that they don't have to clean up the mess? Like they not to that home? level. Yeah, but that's excessive. Well, I, I know what Mike's talking about. That's not to that level. 
you know. So we would always pick it up, man. Right. And there'd be times when they come, no, no, we'll get it, we'll get it. No, no, no. You know, we we we'll clean it, right. man. So staying on that, we'll let you finish. No, no, no. Just hold on. Just, okay. I, just I wanted you to know that for an hour and a half, this is what I heard. <laughs> You just blew so many speakers. Okay. I just let you know. And I, I swear to you, <laughs> I was like, I don't get it. That's what we hear here. Hear, here Every what? day. Hear, here. Hear, here. Hear, here. Hear, here. So, you know, it, it's, I got to say, there's either a secret society that we don't know because we just don't rate, or I'm a little disappointed by the billionaire elite. Well, there, there's restaurants are starting to come up with that policy, you know, about because we can't bring your kids. Mikey and I looked looked into it after the last <laughs> I love show. That policy. We looked into it at that show, and uh, uh, Steve Rar, I think is his first name, Mister Rar. Uh, who else was on there? Uh, Zuckerberg. I mean, we're talking about billionaires. They just go to regular steakhouse. They go to regular places because Irving insists that it's got to be a special club for billionaires. You know. And like Warren Buffett eats at a at a barbecue. Okay, but he's joined not, at his he's house not, by his house. Ex, he's not an eccentric by like everybody else that was on right. the list. But you know. So yeah, I'm a little disappointed. I was telling him, I go, if if I had that kind of money and I could pay five grand for dinner and just be treated the way I want to be treated and not have to deal with but any that's of why the other you would BS. Be broke. Because you know again, you see the entitlement to you then goes off the chart, and then you want to pay for excessive entitlement. Where we know that there's places that have an excellent steak. Yeah. Go have the steak. We can't right now. We can't afford it on a regular basis. But if you were a billionaire, you could. But the funny part is, if you became a billionaire, what we deem now is a high-end steakhouse to you, <laughs> I could just hear you. I'm not going to that dump. Nah, that's dog food. I, I got to fly to Montana. I a hundred percent agree. And you know what I would do? I'd be like, how many seats you got? 120. I'll take them all. See, that's just me. Right. Remove everything else. Put one table and chair in the middle of the restaurant. I'll be there for 90 minutes. Absolutely right, and that's what I expect them to do. So you would buy out the whole restaurant? Absolutely. Okay. I say if I see one flash turn on, I'm throwing something. <laughs> and then I'm having a fit. I, I, you know, what's hard is I, I, don't, I don't know how some of the managers whoa, 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 in whoa, whoa, world. You can see from there? What's, what's, <laughs> I don't uh, want to know what's hard. With it. But like I said, this kid screamed and screamed and screamed and screamed. Dude, and there was a table of 12. And nobody told him to shut up? No! That, you know, and they were having conversations, and this kid's losing his mind. I, I don't want to sound racist, but what race was the table? Our race! Brown! Jinkus! Yes! And so not, I, not one chancla went for I was waiting for the... At least once! You know what? At my age, I still get out of line. I, I get hit. <laughs> I don't know how... I mean, I swear that thing comes around the table like a boomerang. and hits I you in the back of the head. I don't get it, man. I just... And, you know, and the thing was, fine. You don't want to smack your kid? Cool. Whatever. Get the hell out! Yeah, take him out. Uh, you know? That's just, that's just retarded. Get out. Go home. But, anyway... So, you know, you since know, wait, 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 I want to talk about this whole thing. The four wow. this came out. Did you guys know Michael Jordan is officially in the billionaire club? You're a pendejo también. Another one. Please do tell. Do you not read the fine print? It's alleged and questionable. Yeah. Yeah, but he's, but he's on the list. It doesn't matter. Again, it's not verified because he doesn't release numbers. So it's a but, guesstimate. But Forbes put him on the billionaire's list. It's because Forbes guesstimate. needs sensationalization Why? like everybody else, so but it's not verified. you're telling me that Bill Gates didn't make his 79 point whatever billion? He doesn't, that's, that's, that's a fake number? No. Bill Gates is publicly listed because of all the stock and the shares that he yeah, has. Yeah, but there has to be some kind of numbers behind. The yes. bulk of his money comes from Nike. From endor- not from endorsements, but for royalties. His, right, royalties. He still gets about a hundred million bucks a year. So you're telling the bulk of his money, you moron. What else? Seven hundred and ninety-two of it comes from the fact that he owns the Charlotte Hornets. Okay. Read the article. See, I this helped, is the problem with America. I, you, I helped th- you get there. You're like you're Mike. Mike calls you're me welcome. yesterday. Hey man, do you know that my bike? No, he's not. And it even and then the article, hey, the fine print wh- says, "Why are you hating? It's questionable. Why are you, know you hating? Okay, are you on the list? We're guesstimating. Are you on the list? I'm not. I'm, I'm nowhere near the list. Are you on the millionaire list? I'm not even on the thousandaire list. Are you on the hundred list? Hell no. And don't just cae te losico. I'm just telling you that don't be spreading the same BS that they're trying to do for radio. Forbes for... is a reputable publishing okay. house. Again, it's they said they're guesstimating." Because they can't get a Look, solid answer out of it. Can you give me a favor and pick either guess or estimating and stop trying to hybrid those two words That's together? That's what it says in the article. If you had read the you know article. What? They're dead to me too. <laughs> Michael Jordan just got taken off the list. <laughs> All right. So, you know how some people either sell a product or 
uh, come up with a product and they they're not fans of it, but it sells. You Are know. you gonna? You know, go, you know how they say about how never get high on your own supply. Please tell thing. me. Please tell me you're not gonna talk about farts in a in a jar again. No, nope. you'll talk about the cured K cup. Exactly. See, oh yes, we read. yes, I heard about that. We read. The guy that invented it doesn't use it. Doesn't use it. He doesn't believe. He doesn't like it. As a matter of fact, he's made billions off of it, but he he prefers drip coffee. That's good enough for him. Hold on. Did he make money off of it? I yeah, heard... his company's made billions off of it. That's what the article says. They've, they've made billions of cups, but they said he sold his patent for fifty thousand dollars back in nineteen ninety seven. He says his company has made billions off of his genius idea. His company, not him. You know what? Could you just shut the hell up? I'm telling you, because the, oh, the guy oh, was. Wait, no, I'm sorry. They're saying, oh yeah, get the guesstimating that it made on, since they sold billions of dollars. Yesterday, <laughs> he said that all he made was the fifty grand off of the patent for selling it. So I'm asking you, what so, article you read? That article also says guesstimate. It says John Sylvan's company has made billions of his genius idea. I call BS. So you know what? We're gonna we're gonna source you, All right? Oh, because Google is a trustworthy the, source. Okay, I'm right. He went as to uh, he went so far as to say that he sometimes feels bad for ever having invented the K cup because it is bad for the environment. Why? Because of the plastic? It's not biodegradable. Yeah, it's gonna be wrong. Well, then forever. why doesn't he design one that is? Right. Make another billion. Exactly. Freaking moron. But you know what? <laughs> it's one of those things. We don't know because we could have been guesstimating. <laughs> I'm guesstimating that there's two people listening to the show. And those two are in this room. This is the Three Guys Rant. Thank you, everybody, for checking us out each and every week. Make sure to call us at 855-69-3Guys. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. The truth hurts, then AM 1050 KCAA can be a real pain. Looking for a delicious, fresh family meal that's ready when you are and easy on your budget? Welcome to Piara Pizza. We make our pizzas with handmade dough, 100% real cheese, and tomato sauce blended with our own spices. Nothing is ever frozen. We always have large pepperoni and cheese pizzas fresh and waiting for you for only $5. Or choose one of our specialty pizzas. We have veggie, meat lovers, supreme, and Hawaiian. Add an order of our amazing hot wings, cheesy bread, or breadsticks. Our locations are ultra modern, ultra clean, and open seven days a week. Visit any one of our locations today. Or check us out on the web at www.piarapizza.com. Piara Pizza. Fresh, hot, and ready for you when you come in. Stop in for your Piara Pizza today. Real Estate Rant and AGR Realtors are proud supporters of Michael Aguilar and Associates, advocates for stroke awareness and integrative health care. In February 2012, I suffered a stroke due to high blood pressure. I was rushed to the hospital where I was admitted for the next 30 days. I was initially told I may have to stay in the hospital for about three months, but I made rapid improvements in my recuperation and continued to improve to this day. When Michael left the hospital, he did not have insurance to cover his rehabilitation. So he focused on integrative healthcare to get better. At the end of 2013, seeing a need for stroke awareness, Michael started his own company, Michael Aguilar and Associates, to focus on creating awareness about the dangers of high blood pressure and stroke. If you would like more information, please call me at 562-464-7297 or you can visit my website at www.strokeawareness101.com. Michael Aguilar and Associates, creating awareness and saving lives one person at a time. Hey, what's going on? This is Frank Palangi here. You're listening to the Three Guys Rant Radio Show. Rock on. All right, welcome back to the Three Guys Rant. Make sure to check us out each and every week on KCAA 1050 AM, KMET 1490, GCN, Rant Radio, DM Narc Radio, WROM, and the Mixed Talk Radio out of New York. There's lots more. Make sure to go to the 3 guysrant.com and click on the Where to Hear Us Live. 
or not even live, but maybe even pre-recorded. Uh, call us at 855-693-GUYS. Again, it's uh, 855-693-GUYS. All right. When, when, you, when you go to a restaurant and you order fajitas. Okay, first off, those are like two double negatives. I would never do that, but please continue. Okay. When they bring them to you. Are they normally like sizzling and steam coming off of them? And they say, con cuidado, señor, porque están calientes. Thank you. All right. Ahorita le traigo las tortillas. <laughs> ¿Quiere de harina o de maíz? Quiero de harina, por favor, señora. Okay. So, a man tried to sue Apple, Applebee's because he burned his face. Oh, that guy's a moron. I don't his even need face to and, <laughs> and, and lap with fajitas. <laughs> Does he does he put the meat on his lap? No, check this so out. I'm thinking, what did he do? Put his face in the plate and use his tongue to scrape him off into his lap? He bowed his head to pray. You see, that's what I'm telling you. Praying <laughs> is not that good for you. So he bowed his head to pray. There was a, a spark of a sizzle <laughs> that burned wait, his, wait, his face. Wait, 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 spark wait, wait. of a sizzle? <laughs> yeah, a spark, spark of, of a sizzle. Of a sizzle. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> because on. because his kid was running around with scissors. But anyways, was, was was scissors okay? So there was a what? Can he say? His kid was running around with scissors. So anyways, he burnt his face. He panicked. He put his hand on the table and spilled the fajitas on his groin. Please. So he please. tried to sue Applebee's, and the court basically told him he's an idiot. Please tell me <laughs> that the skillet that they use has Applebee's engraved right on it, and now the side of his face is Applebee's. No, unfortunately, they, they did not. But the. The court said, no, uh, we can't award you money because you're a moron. So I threw the case out. You know what? But that's got to be a very fine line because the lady sued McDonald's and she won. Oh, that was a long, long time ago. I know ago. that other people have tried since then and they haven't won. Right. right. And I think she it was a fluke for her. Right. And, and she got 12 of the stupidest human beings in America. Let's talk about jury duty. Oh, Let's talk about that, okay? Because I'm glad you – that's a great segue, Arvin. This week I was tasked – Hold on, hold on. To do on. my American duty. Skeet, skeet, skeet. That was my spurt of the day right there. I was tasked to do my American <laughs> civic duty, and I was called to jury duty. I would like to know how I've been asked, according to them, to go judge my peers. Now, I'm going to leave here, the town names alone. Here we go, Mr. Scorpion. But the area of town that I went to is so lowbrow, so pathetic, that... Unless I've been convicted 14 times, how the hell is that my peer group? Okay. Please, please tell me that's what you told the judge. I didn't get a chance. Okay. But I don't understand the moronic system that we have and how they can say you're going to be judged by a jury of your peers. Because if I'm ever on trial, everybody on there better have an IQ near genius, better all be only in white collar situations. Oh, that's a little racist. I'm it? just saying. And I'll be fat. That's right. <laughs> that's a jury of my peers. That's what I would say. If I'm being tried, I'm going to say, Your Honor, let me ask the jury a question. How many of you are Puerto Rican? <laughs> oh, no. Hell no. How can they be my peer? That's what I'm saying. Hey, loco. But Arvin's talking about the same. Okay. So Arvin's talking about the same, si no okay, so no, talking about the same morons, a, a, tw a group of 12 idiots that awarded that lady all that money from... You think she told him, hey, if you guys uh, yeah, say but back that then, I won. You know, the thing, uh, I don't think it was just, you know, there was no warning on the cubs, you know. It, it, it's all stupid reasons. Right, 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 right. But, you know. But what I'm saying is, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know it's the way they read the letter and then the right. instructions they give the jury. Right. You know, and the jury, you have to tell them, look. And, 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 but the problem is they can't tell, the judge can't say, look, you're all going to look effing stupid when you come back with an award. But what she's suing for was... Did the cop say this? Did McDonald's tell her she could be scalded? I wonder if we can buy one of the old cups of McDonald's on eBay and walk in and have them fill that up and then spill it on your lap. They'll probably shoot you if you walk through the door. But all I'm saying is the whole court system and the jury of my peers and what have you and whatnot. So as we're sitting in this room, they're calling people out. So this guy walks in a bailiff or whatever and says, okay, I need to pre-screen a large number of you. We just got a call from one of the courtrooms. We need... 12 jurors for 16 days. Yeah, your name when I call your name. I'm thinking, wow. How many people do you think said yay? None. Mikey? 22. Very good. The vast majority of the names they called, the first two people, the first guy they went to, they called his name, you know, Robert Smith. Hell no. Nope. The next person, no, 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 no. The next person, yes. 
And everybody kind of perked up. The next person, yes. Are these people on welfare? I don't know. All I know is that they easily got about 20 people to say yes in a row. They probably work for a company that will give them full pay when they're on jury duty. 16 days so. they agreed to do it. I mean, I'm all for my civic what did, duty. Whatever. What did you say? I'm sorry? What did you they say? They didn't call me. Thank goodness. What would you have said? Hell no. Because they tell you that the average trial is three to five days. But I can't be away for 16 days. That is very uh, brown of you. Yeah, I agree. Good for you. I agree. So you know, I'm just sharing, you know, that I just wanted to be clear. One thing I wanted to cover real quick. Uh, this week was released the 20 most popular beers in America. All right. What can we guess for? Uh, number one, Budweiser. No, Bud Light. Yeah, I would have said Bud Light is number one. Bud Light, Coors Light, number two. Yep. It tells you what a bunch of morons we are, man. So many good beer out there, and these two are the top. Let me let me let me smack your brother in over here to the right. We drink here on a very regular basis. No, I know, I know what I'm saying. What beer? Not because what, I want to. Oh, what's not our accent? I want to enjoy beer? a beer and let me go. Uh, let me go get a Bud no, Light. No, no, no. The conversation is, hey, you want to get uh, face with me? Uh, this afternoon? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll be back. When you come back, you come back with three forties of what? Coors Light or Coors? Okay, I am. What I'm saying is, moron, that that's just because is it it's true convenient. Cheap, is it it's true not. Cheap it's not what I'm saying. If it's like if you go to to a to a uh, a brew house and you order Bud Light or Budweiser, I actually that, how stupid I, is that? I actually do. I say, what's the lightest beer? Okay, I'll take two of those. <laughs> like if you go to BJ's. I always go they with the blunt. They have all this, this. I go with the blunt. Or the yard house. And I, you, go, I go with the blunt because it's, it's what I know. Yeah, yeah. Your Honor, I rest my case. Your Honor, I breasted my face. All right. So I guess we're done for today, huh? <laughs> I, God, I hope so. Again, this is the Three Guys Rant. Thank you, everybody, for checking us out each and every week. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at The Three Guys Rant. Make sure to check us out on TheThreeGuysRant.com. That's how you do a show. Real Estate Rant and A.